What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's your first time stopping by the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. And I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen. <clears throat> I did a story earlier today that pissed me off. And um, it was about that Louisiana child thug party or whatever you call it. That's a viral video going around on the Internet right now. Me and the subscriber, a lot of you guys know her from the chat. Belinda was on the phone rapping heavy tonight. Shout out Belinda. You know what I'm saying? And she said something that really made me think. And we said, you know what? It's something nobody's talking about. So Belinda, this video is for you because you are just as so much a part of, you know, what I'm going to say as my input. Guys, listen. We're seeing all of these crimes committed by all of these different races of people now. A long time ago, you could categorize a crime almost by, by race. You guys remember that? Nowadays, it's not the same thing. Not saying it's a good thing to do that, but I mean, we had a different type of uh, understanding of who did what on the planet or in the country. But nowadays, can never tell. You know, and one of the things I want to bring up is something that I don't think a lot of people are talking about or a lot of people haven't thought about because we've been bombarded with all of these different news stories and different theories of why people act the way they do right now. And what Belinda said made a lot of sense. Check this out, y'all. Remember? You know, let me just say this. A lot of people are blaming COVID. Oh, people were locked up and now they're out and they're doing it. OK, COVID was really bad. What, a couple of years ago, people would have came back to normal. You know what I mean? And being locked up in the house that long is not going to make something really honestly is not going to make people act a fool to where it escalates into something else and pours into our children. But if you notice today, you got kids running in stores, coming out of stores, just blatantly stealing stuff, just running up and down the street with stuff in their hand. Not worrying about if they see a police officer or not. We have seen people that are uh, pulled over and can't follow a lawful order and wind up losing their lives. People that don't even stop for police no more. People that attack police. People that are unruly. People that destroy their own children or let other uh, outside forces, boyfriend or girlfriend, what have you, Come in there and do something to their child. Then aid with the disposal of the body and trying to cover up the crime. We see mothers trying to cover up crimes for their thug ass kids. We see a lot of stuff that doesn't even have anything to do with the normal way human beings are supposed to act. It's like nobody knows the difference between good and evil. And it's like the chaos that overtook the lawful in all shapes, forms, and fashions. You remember the 80s when we had the crack epidemic, right? You had a lot of babies born. You do the timeline of the time of where we are right now. And, you know, you look at it, a lot of this stuff. These babies that was born out of the crack era are having babies now. And I think this is the byproduct. Belinda said that, hey, you know, Steve, you got to really pay attention. Having these babies, you know, born with addictions and stuff like that. They have chemical imbalances in their brain. She's on to something. And I think that's a big problem. We got black folk out here taking meth now. I couldn't believe it. I just learned that six months ago because I ain't into drugs. Like, I'm like, damn, black people take meth? I remember meth used to be a biker drug or like trailer trash. That was associated with bikers or trailer trash. Then again. Crack was associated with, quote unquote, black folk. Then the government came out and said, oh, you know what? Yeah, we did. Uh, we put the crack in the black neighborhoods to see what happened. Well, now you reap the benefits because if drugs are good, it don't matter what color somebody is. They're going to come get them. And now you see this craziness all over the damn place. People are losing their minds. I think they did not plan for all of this stuff to happen. Especially on a level that is happening. Where outside of the black community, people are just doing crazy stuff. Remember the girl that just killed the kids? They didn't depend on it. And like, because, you know, 
when they do statistics, they do these type of experiments and stuff like that. They know some people are going to fall by the wayside, but this thing I think worked way better than they thought it was. And now it's out of control and the laws don't matter. See, the thing is this for a long time. And history shows it. So I'm going to hear nobody's fucking mouth. People in the black men been guinea pigs. And poor, poor uh, people in poor neighborhoods, whether you're white, black, whatever, and you're in them neighborhoods, you're exposed to that too. See, they'll lose a few. The powers that be, they'll lose a few, you know, to affect the many. And then the thing that's crazy about this is they have the resources and the money to make sure it don't touch them and theirs. I'm talking about the one percent. And I'm not saying all one percent is, is bad people, but there are people in this country and we see it all. And it, it's no secret. There are people here with their that are mainly worried about their own personal gain and don't care about who falls by the wayside as long as they're taken care of. America is a capitalistic country. You know what I'm saying? We got to come to the realization. I think the way the world is now is because all of the rampant drug use and the bunch of just the offspring of such drug use. People blame COVID. I think Belinda hit it right on the head. We got a lot of people out here now. I mean, really, this this supports it to me. Look at mental illness now. It's like everybody got mental illness. Everybody got mental illness. I remember when I was younger, right? You would hardly ever see somebody laid out in the street unless they was like drunk. And you would barely see that because police would come in and snatch them up. It was not a good look for the city. Now, you can go to places like Kensington and other places across the country where a whole city has been decimated by drugs and people walk around like mindless zombies. And I'm, talk I'm not just talking about Kensington out there in Philly. Shout out Philly. But I'm telling you. Something is coming. And they know it's coming to where it's not going to be no middle class. It's going to be those that have and those that have not. Because think about this. Every time these people run into these stores and take something, it affects the insurance, whether the, you know, whether the, uh, the businesses stays there. And, you know, in America, they do what? Gain a lot of money off of taxes. So when people go in there and do this, this what? A threat to what? Government money. But they're not doing nothing. Peep that. Just watching it. Everybody has insurance. So the insurance companies start to stop paying out for these, uh, Mob, these flash mob. You know, start doing that. You're going to start seeing businesses are going to be closing down in these hood ass neighborhoods. And big cities, they're going to have to start having businesses shut down and stuff like that. And they're going to start moving different places. Some of them might move overseas. And we'll see you then if they start saying, you know what, now we got to do something about it. I told you before, it's going to take generations to fix this. That video I just showed y'all. A while ago, the kids up there dancing with the guns and the money, being indoctrinated. Ignorance is bliss. And we teach this to our children. It's messed up out here. Look what rappers rap about, being high. So being high is cool. Remember in the 80s? That was like whack. We rap, Rappers rapped about that. You don't want to be that person. They teach life lessons. Rap about stuff they saw and why you don't want to be like that. Now it's pushing everybody to be like that. You see the dynamic we're dealing with? It's like chaos rules and lawfulness never existed. Just something to think about. And I'm going to talk to y'all. Thanks, Belinda, for putting that in my head today, because it does make sense. Tell me if you agree or disagree. You got a lot of people out here that's chemically imbalanced due to a lot of drug use and stuff like that. And also, you know, the way music, movies and so on and so forth is. In addition to fathers not being in the home. But I mean, I think that was the issue. That, that was the big thing. The crack epidemic, anyway, because if they get rid of the man in any type of social, uh, you know, group or anything, it's no threat. Doc Mark Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel is always like, comment, share, subscribe. Just something to think about because this affects us all. The way this shit is right now, shouldn't none of us succumb to that? Luckily enough, I had somebody that was solid around me and a good, you know, foundation of people that loved and cared about me. 
and forcefully kept me away from the BS where I was old enough to make rational decisions. A lot of people didn't have that. And this is the end result. It's something to think about. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.